Hundreds took to the streets of Hollywood today to bring attention to the exploitation of animals. CBS 2's Greg Mills tells us it's part of a worldwide day of protest. This group hit Hollywood to tell their story. Animals love their mothers. Just like us. Miriam Castaneda, a sign-carrying protester from Riverside, was among the approximately 200 people speaking out for those without a voice. They feel they're not willingly going to slaughter. Outside McDonald's, this family said they watched the protest. Do you think today's protest had a, will have any impact? I don't think so, nah, because people are still going to be liking meat. But his wife, Beatrice Martinez, said the thought of animals being slaughtered for their food does bother her, and she thinks about that image. Yeah, I do all the time. <laughs> Protesters pleaded for man to quit killing animals for food, clothing, and research. Because I love animals. They marched up and down the boulevard, even took center stage at Hollywood and Highland. They exited stage left after just a few minutes, much to the relief of police and security guards. The group behind this is called Direct Action Everywhere. They told us they're not trying to make a political statement, yet their home page shows them protesting outside the White House. They're holding 80 of these protests around the world today. They chose Los Angeles and wanted to be at an iconic location. You can't get more iconic than here, the heart of Hollywood at Hollywood and Highland. There's a lot of people around here. Including <laughs> Tiffany Bullock and her friends from Georgia. They saw the protesters and digested their message but couldn't quite resist a tasty pepperoni pizza. Oh, I love me. All of the protesters we spoke with are vegan, like Libby Adams. I can't change the system, but I can change what I do. They believe one day the rest of the world will go meatless, too. In Hollywood, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.